1966 Plymouth satellite packing a 426 Hemi under the hood. This is a project car in the <clears throat> condition that we found it in. Um, car's gone through before it was ever started after being sitting for 20 years or so. Uh, we did engine fluids, plugs, made sure that it, everything was good before we fired it up. It fires up, but drove it here. Runs and drives. It uh, obviously needs to be sorted out and gone through in order to be truly roadworthy, but it's a uh, it's a mover as it is, so pretty cool. Very like FBI cop car look to these cars. Certainly a sleeper. Show you under the hood here. If I can get this open. There's the behemoth. 426 Hemi. Here's the fender tag. So people can do a better job of deciphering. I don't know these cars well enough and how to tell that, but uh, there's online resources in order to decode that a little bit. Um, all the trim is here, despite needing to be, you know, refinished and better attached. Um, glass all that obviously you need paint or you don't depends if you what kind of look you want to go for um, everything's been faded it car came from a dry hot place so it you know a lot of this paint got cooked again all the trims here just need some attention um, body work was done here at some point you can see some bondo or body filler, I guess you'd call it here. Um, getting sorted out, but overall, great car to start with. Um, show you inside. Four speed manual trans. You can see 52,957 between 57 and 58 on the odometer. Back seat needs some help, um, but you know, window cranks, cigarette ashtrays. A lot of this stuff that's still here, um, despite needing to be recovered. You're looking at a lot of a lot of the parts here, not too much missing. Um, all cool stuff to have. A little bit of bubbling going on here at the door. Um, I might be wrong, but I don't think that's the, it's, either it's not the factory location or these were maybe never supposed to be on there, but somebody wanted to be slick. Because the car is quite a sleeper, they wanted to give you a, at least a, a hint of uh, what you might be up against to get the red light mirrors here but funky um, Chrysler glass um, here's the VIN for you so you're looking at R uh, which is a Belvedere the first digit being an R, that means it's a, either a Belvedere or this is the optional package, the satellite. Um, then number two, three, that means it's a two-door hardtop. Then you're looking at the next one, which is a big one. The important number there, or the digit, is the H, which stands for 426 Hemi. Uh, the next digit there is the 
six, which means that this is a 66 model year. And then after the six is a one. And that means it was built at the Lynch Road assembly plant in Detroit, Michigan. And then the rest of that after the one is just the sequence numbers. trunk. Uh, looks like we got some muffler hangers that came off the car. Um, don't see any issues here. Nor do I on this side. All right, I sort of did the walk around of the engine earlier, but I wanted to go back through and uh, use a flashlight to get in here better and see if there's any numbers like here on the water pump. Um, casting number there. Let's see if I can get that better. Part number on the fan. Hopefully I'm not blowing it out and uh, you can't see the, the numbers on the camera there, but um, this looks to me like a factory radiator. Um, all right, let's get this air cleaner off. All right, air cleaner is off. Here's the intake manifold number. All right, here we are underneath the 1966 Hemi Satellite 4-speed. Give you a little look at the undercarriage of it and the status of some of the stuff. Looking a little crusty here, but still pretty solid. Um, definitely needs some attention though. Uh, new fuel tank. Some of the stuff, this is some of the stuff we did to just prove that the car runs and, uh, um, you know, a new fuel tank and all that kind of stuff was required before we started the vehicle. We wanted to make sure that all that stuff um, was replaced in order to prevent hurting any of the motors and this car runs and drives. Uh, this side, obviously much worse than the other side. It's looking pretty rough. Um, let's see if I can help you with the light here. Um, body filler being used here at some point, I don't know when. Um, and then the paint chipping away from there. Uh, this is a Dana 60 rear end. It's got the little diff cover tag on it. Um, nothing really else to note under here as far as trouble areas. Um, as you probably noticed in the video, the car is pretty loud. I'm not a mechanic, but I would guess this has something to do with it. The lack of mufflers. Torque boxes. Um, another heavy Hemi um, uh, add-on. And then these areas here are looking a little quite rusty. Um, just wanted to get some good footage of that. Um, paint is failing here as well. Uh, as we work our way kind of over to this side, same thing, obviously Hemi torque boxes, and then some rot going on here. Whoa, let's not strobe it out. Um, floors are solid. Nothing to note up into this point. Uh, cross member looks good. Um, looks like a little mangled toe job at some point. Somebody uh, ripped that hole open a little bit. 
Um, all right, so here we are. I'll get videos of some of this. Uh, some of these part numbers on these tail shaft. Um, let's see if I can get a better shot of that. Um, Then we work our way over here, another main case um, part number as well. Let's see if we can do that better. There we go. Um, on this side, it's a casting date code. And um, I don't know how much this casting number matters, or this part number matters, given that it's the outer case, but. Just, just because it's there, I'm gonna video it for you. Hopefully you can see that. I did just drive this car and then put it up here so things are a little hot. Um, again, under here, just stuff greasy. And uh, this is, again, like as found condition. Um, we've mainly focused on just making sure that the vehicles ran and drove to some extent, uh, just to make everybody feel and know where they stand as far as like is the motor seized all that kind of stuff so um this car is a running and driving car as it is although it is in a project status some of that stuff has been sorted out by us but um you know i didn't go through and get all this stuff done um underneath and cleaned it all up too much but you know brakes work what's that popcorn up there okay um Pretty clean up here nothing to note as far as just surface crusties no uh, rot evident uh, the wheel well there you got some of the I don't know can you call it sound deadener or whatever that is um, falling out failing um, I don't know what's, what's supposed to go there but looked like something was there whether it's factory uh, aftermarket I don't know um, you can see fresh oil filter uh, fuel pump we replaced um, fuel lines obviously it goes back to the new gas tank um, we're in here new starter uh, here's some numbers on the Hemi block Let's see if I can do that better all right MN four two six two nine eight zero triple five six seven and then you have the casting number up here on the engine block further up that's two four six eight three three zero dash one and then below that it says rl and the casting date is 11 18 68 so this is a non-native engine block but it is still a 426 Hemi. Up on this side, same numbers, and then just that clocked position for casting, which I don't know what that means. Um, and then you've got a stamped number on here. And that number is 08. One three five zero zero nine. Potentially that's zero B, but I don't know how good it's showing up on video. But there you have it. I think I showed this earlier, but the oil pan got whacked. So someone's gonna obviously go through this whole car, and that's something that needs to be addressed. Anyhow, um yeah again car runs and drives and stops uh i wouldn't say it does any of those things well enough to drive it on a hundred mile road trip but um you know carbs need to be sorted out stuff like that and uh this vehicle should be um you know cared for and restored or driven as it is and worked on and enjoyed um just kind of showing you some more of these pinch rail areas uh that's of interest.